A few years ago, we were developing, designing this idea for a smart earpiece. We were really inspired by wearable technology, you know, and we wanted to solve this global challenge with this earpiece we were designing. At the time, we were a small team, but we came from different backgrounds, we spoke different languages. That's how the, the idea of a translator, with the ear, an earpiece that could translate, that's how it came about. We wanted to use it internally with our team that was Russian or Indian and Spanish and American. So we're about a team of 10 or 11 people, but 70, 80% of them are engineers, hardware engineers designing the actual uh, earpiece itself, or software engineers who have all come from research and development backgrounds in speech translation, machine translation. Um, myself, I serve as CEO. I oversee all business operations along with our VP of marketing. The nature of our company is international because we are a language translation company. The languages which we're focused on developing with the earpiece are French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, along with English. We wanted to make a huge international impact with an international trade show. 4YFN and Mobile World Congress are probably one of the best trade shows all year to attend in Europe, and it made sense for us. Well, we are a small startup, and we're very humble uh, with regard to what we're doing, but we do have a very strong community that follows us on social media and on our email newsletters. But we were absolutely blown away by the impact that 4YFN has had on our on our company here. It took us about two years just to develop the first prototype, and it's been another year since we first went public with the technology. So it's been about three years in the making. Yes, we have currently 22,000 units already on pre-order. We've already sold close to $4.5 million in pre-sales. We are sending the hardware team and our VP of manufacturing back to China next month for the next stages of production, go into beta testing, start shipping the first units this summer.